Thank you all for your patience. This American Rescue Plan program invests $1 billion, a total of three, but $1 billion to create jobs and opportunity for people in places where they live and where they've worked their entire career so they don't have to leave. This is about investing in them, believing in them, helping them transition to a new world. They can do these jobs, just like they did the ones they had before. This is about jobs in their communities, for them, not having to leave or not having to go on unemployment. In August, the economy created 315,000 new jobs. The great American jobs machine continues its comeback. America workers are back to work, earning more, manufacturing more, building an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. But with today's news, we have now created nearly 10 million new jobs since I took office. Nearly 10 million jobs, the fastest growth in all of American history. The bottom line is jobs are up, wages are up, people are back to work. And we're seeing some signs that inflation may be, may be, I'm not overpromising, may be beginning to ease. None of this is happening by accident. These investments and this recovery are a direct result of my economic plan. Some people gave up on American manufacturing, not me, not the secretary, not the American people. Make it in America is no longer just a slogan. It's a reality in my administration. I don't consider any Trump supporter ever be a threat to the country. I do think anyone who calls for the use of violence, fails to contempt the violence by you, refuses to acknowledge when an election has been won, insists upon changing the way in which the rules you count votes. That is a threat to democracy. Democracy. Everything we stand for, everything we stand for rests on the platform of democracy.